How bad is this? Don't tell me this is Zoom bad. It's Apple Maps bad. Hey everybody, welcome to another video. And today we're covering another tech support issue and that is the vibrating stepper motor. Now, I see this a lot when I'm running across the subreddit pages and the internet, and I feel like a lot of people have encountered this vibrating stepper motor issue. So I kind of wanted to create a video and kind of offer up some solutions to this and get your printer back up and running. Now here's the sound you're going to hear. Man, that's horrible. Here's that sound again. All right, one more time, just in case you really want to hear it again. Whenever you hear the sound coming from your stepper motors, it usually means there's not enough current being supplied to the motor. How is the current supplied to your motor? Well, you're going to need to check the reference voltage on the drivers on your controller. This will need to be adjusted. If you're too low, you won't get enough current across the motor. Bad wiring can also prevent the flow of current, and you may need to check the connections from the board to the motor itself. I would also check the physical wire for any defects. You want to make sure the insulation is still intact. You could also have a bad stepper motor. I have had great reliability with stepper motors, but this does happen. Your steps might also be incorrectly set up in Marlin, but if that's the case, your motor would be under or over rotating and you would still have some rotation. Going through our progressions, our voltage reference was fine when we checked. And then we checked our wiring and also no issues were there. In our case, the stepper motor itself was damaged and that's why it was not working properly. In my case, the solution was pretty easy. All I had to do was order a new stepper driver from the internet and install it back onto the printer. And this was pretty easy. If you're curious on what stepper motors you're going to need to use on your 3D printers, check out the educational playlist on my channel. I go into way more details with a video dedicated solely to stepper drivers. One thing I did notice when I was reattaching the stepper motor to the mount was the actual spring that I was using that mounts to the Bowden extruder was really stiff and longer than the others and I kind of recorded the difference in spring lengths here and this could be bad because it put a lot of pressure on the filament against your motor shaft. You don't want to see this and it's really easy to see. You can check your filament that is being loaded into the Bowden mount if the gear itself is leaving marks on the filament. This could mean you're putting too much force on your filament. Here's where I plugged in the new stepper motor into the controller and if it is a bad stepper motor you can pretty much plug it in to the new one and it will work. I'm going to calibrate it in to make sure the extruder is extruding the right amount of filament. But if you are curious in setting up multiple extruders in Marlin 2.0, leave a comment and let me know and I can make some educational videos on this topic. 
Thank you all for watching this video. Check out our links that are listed in the description below. Support the channel. Visit our Etsy page. If you like what we do here, please leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I hope your prints turn out awesome, and I'll see you in the next video.